On July 28, 1914, World War I, or the Great War, was started as many European powers began to declare war on one another after the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Five months after hostilities began, the first Christmas of the war came, and something beautiful happened that night. Across the western front of the war, unofficial ceasefires were called, and the soldiers on all sides of the war came together as humans to briefly stop fighting and to celebrate together. John McClutchen wrote a song to commemorate that evening. My name is Francis Tolliver. I come from Liverpool. Two years ago, the war was waiting for me after school. To Belgium and to Flanders, to Germany to here. I fought for king and country I loved dear. Twas Christmas in the trenches where the frost so bitter hung. The frozen fields of France were still no Christmas song was sung. And our families back in England, they were toasting us that day. Their brave and glorious lads so far away. I was lying with my messmate on the cold and rocky ground when across the lines of battle came a most peculiar sound. Says I now listen up, me boys, each soldier strained to hear as one young German voice sang out so clear. He's singing bloody well, you know, my partner says to me. Soon one by one each German voice joined in in harmony. And the cannons rested silent, the gas clouds rolled no more, as Christmas brought us respite from the war. As soon as they were finished, and a reverent pause was spent, God rest ye merry gentlemen, struck up some lads from Kent. The next day Stang was stealing knocked tis silent night, says I, and in two tongues one song filled up that sky. There's someone coming towards us, the front line sentry cried. All sights were fixed on one lone figure trudging from their side. And his truce flag like a Christmas star shone on that plain so bright as he bravely strode unarmed into the night. Then one by one on either side walked into no man's land. With neither gun nor bayonet we met there hand to hand. We shared some secret brandy and we wished each other well. And in a flare-lit soccer game we gave them hell. We traded chocolate cigarettes and photographs from home. These sons and fathers far away from families of their own. Young Sanders played his squeeze box and they had a violin. This curious and unlikely band of men. Soon daylight stole upon us, and France was France once more. With sad farewells, we each began to settle back to war. But the question haunted every heart that lived that wondrous night. Whose family have I fixed within my sights? T'was Christmas in the trenches where the frost so bitter hung. These frozen fields of France were warmed as Christmas songs were sung. For the walls they kept between us to exact the works of war had been crumbled and are gone forevermore. Oh, my name is Francis Tolliver. In Liverpool I dwell. Each Christmas come since World War I, I've learned its lessons well. That the ones who call the shots won't be among the dead and lame. And on each end of the rifle, we're the same.
This is a story that can teach us to see past our differences and to see the humanity in one another. Countries across the world were involved in what began as a European conflict, but grew into a much larger one. Colonial powers such as England brought soldiers from all over their empire to fight their war. And nations like Turkey were involved in fighting on at least three different continents. The effects of the war are still felt to this day, but the story of the Christmas Eve truce is also told to this day. So on this Christmas, we can take a lesson from the soldiers of the Western Front on December 25th, 1914, and to see past what divides us and to find common ground and what brings us together. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, however you may choose to celebrate. And I hope everyone is able to take a few lessons from the Christmas Eve truth into our modern day.